All right, for the final query method, let's take a look at getByTestID. GetByTestID returns the element that has the matching data test ID attribute. Let's understand the usage with an example. In the application component, below the image tag, I'm going to add a div tag. For the sake of this video, let's assume the div tag is a custom HTML element. On this div tag, I'm going to add data test ID is equal to custom element. Now we can find this element in our test using the get by test ID query. In application.test.tsx, const custom element is equal to screen.getbyTestID and the test ID is custom element. In the next line, we expect custom element to be in the document. If we save the file, the test passes. If I now change the data test ID attribute to custom elements, we can see the test fails. Our query method works as expected. To summarize, get by test ID returns the element that has the matching data test ID attribute. For our example, we created a div element with a data test ID attribute and found it in our test using get by test ID. That is our last query method. We have gone through eight different ways to find elements with React testing library. I'm pretty sure you might have a question at this point in time. When to use which query? Well, let me answer that question in the next video.